Managing ext share point extensions for subscriptions using SPFX. Uh, this sample SPFX extension is to manage list level subscriptions, which displays the list of webhooks and uh, action to renew the webhook expiry dates of the respective webhook subscriptions. So before I jump into the demo, I would like to introduce myself briefly. Um, I am Nishkulunk Bajawada. People call me as Nish. I am working as a solution architect at Bravero AB based in Stockholm, Sweden. I am an active PNP contributor. So far, I have received these uh, badges for my contributions and many more are yet to come. Uh, there are few link, uh, links. Uh, these are the few links where you can uh, reach me out, uh, but I'm mostly active on Discord server. So uh, today's agenda is uh, I'll be focusing on SharePoint webhooks, uh, the use case I have followed, the extension, and a brief demo. So uh, SharePoint webhooks. Uh, webhooks enable us to build applications that subscribe to receive notification on specific events that occur in SharePoint. These events are a document uh, is added, deleted, item checked out, checked in, etc. Webhooks uh, are easier to develop and consume than of remote event receivers. As uh, re remote event receivers uses the idea to have a SOAP endpoint, usually implemented using uh, WCF, wherein webhooks uses regular HTTP services like web APIs. So, so uh, uh, list webhooks covers vast range of list events corresponding to the list item changes. List events include uh, item deleted, updated, deleted, uh, checked out, checked in, unchecked out, file uh, moved, version deleted, etc. So, so many uh, events uh, are there. Well, uh, SharePoint, SharePoint webhooks provide a simple notification pipeline so your application can be aware of these changes. So uh, the uh, use case that I have used is uh, from the Microsoft uh, uh, documentation itself. I have uh, not completely implemented this, but, but uh, I have implemented in a similar way as shown uh, here in the diagram. I have created a SharePoint webhook as an uh, Azure function, which uses the HTTP trigger. <clears throat> the function URL is then added as a webhook subscription uh, to the intended lists or libraries. Uh, the func this function will be triggered whenever there is uh, a change in the lists or libraries. Once it is triggered, the function will receive the notification from SharePoint and process the notification. This notification is then added to uh, storage queue uh, for further processing uh, using a queue trigger function. You may either add this notification to queues or directly process this notification in the same function itself, but it is recommend to, uh, recommended to add it to the queue so you maintain the records of the notification itself. So the most important part here is uh, get changes API. Uh, which is used during uh, processing the notification. This API is to uh, determine uh, what actually has changed uh, to that particular uh, changed item. So this is a basic scenario as we all know, and hence can be implemented in many ways. I myself have used uh, this in my previous projects uh, where we had to manage all these subscription at hub level, which I had already presented in my last demo, but I thought uh, to also implement it using an uh, uh, extension here today. Uh, so, uh, I mean, when I said uh, the word managing here, uh, it is because the webhook subscriptions are set to expire after 180 days by default and we have many ways to renew the webhook subscription. The, the most effective way is to use uh, PowerShell, um, but uh, the, uh, this was my, uh, this is where my idea has come to implement uh, it using an extension, which fetches the webhook subscriptions using REST API uh, by making some uh, simple HTTP calls and also to renew those webhooks whose dates are expired. 
So uh, the extension, this extension is a sample which is uh, developed to renew the subscription uh, subscription date of the list uh, uh, of the list webhooks. The idea of the extension was that I can manage the webhooks from the list level itself. Uh, the associated webhooks which are available are fetched and displayed in a table. So uh, the extension also checks if the webhooks are expired at the current point of time. If expired, it will give us possibility to renew it through the uh, button, uh, you know, just in a button click away. So uh, let me uh, show you a quick demo here. <clears throat> OK, no, so I'm sorry. All right, so um, <clears throat> let me refresh it and uh, uh, here is the uh, command. Uh, you know, manage subscriptions. Uh, this uh, extension uh, fetches the webhooks, uh, which are associated for that particular list or libraries. On click on the uh, on the click on the uh, command, uh, it will uh, a, a panel is popped out as as shown. Uh, uh, this panel contains the list of associated webhooks. <clears throat> I will uh, quickly go to another list where we can also see uh, a different uh, uh, option where you know uh, I can see this webhook has been uh, expired and uh, it also gives me an option to renew the subscription. So just clicking on it, uh, the uh, webhook will be uh, uh, renewed for uh, by default for 180 days from today. Uh, well, uh, yes, uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. So uh, this is the uh, 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 you know uh, a small code sample which I would like to show. Uh, the get uh, subscriptions method uh, uses get and uh, fetches the available subscriptions, and uh, renewing the subscriptions I used uh, patch method and uh, sent a payload. The payload consists, uh, contains expiration date time and the notification URL as shown here. Um, this is the patch method. Uh, it is a simple HTTP call as shown uh, is, and it is used to renew the subscription. So this uh, sample is available in PNP samples gallery and uh, uh, this is just an apt uh, sample or example on how we can work on SharePoint webhook subscriptions, uh, which can be, of course, be improved in any way that is uh, appropriate for uh, one's own needs. And uh, yes, uh, with this, I conclude my third demo in the community. I uh, thank the community for giving me this opportunity. I thank uh, Vesa, David, uh, Hugo is not there here, uh, but yes, Hugo as well from the community team. Uh, you're awesome. Um, <clears throat> I thank Giacomo Pozzoni, Joel Rodriguez, and Adam Wojcik for your uh, constant support. I thank Roger Back, Stefan Roxbury, and all the team members from Bravero. Finally, thanks everyone. Uh, you rock. Thank you very much. Thank you.